when storage units are abandoned in the Great White North. That's all it's done! The treasures within. Yes! Oh my god. Go up for auction. Very <laughs> cool. Hold on a second. Coming up. Oh my god! You don't quit the team. So, oh my god. Go, go. More suits. Oh. <laughs> This puppy's worth about a million dollars. This is a game, and I don't lose. We're going all in. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog business. Don't tell me can't, because I can, and don't tell me don't, because I will. Brampton. Today, uh, it's got it all. The big Chrysler plants here. It's the flower city of Canada. The mayor here makes more money than any mayor in Canada. Buyers might hit gold, and then again, they might not. You know, Bogey, someday you're going to appreciate the wisdom that I have to offer. But given that you've quit the team, today's not going to be that day. I wanted the locker. I, I didn't. We're so? a fucking team. It's your problem. I don't want to deal with it. Do you hear that? That's the sweet, sweet sound of not having to listen to my dad. Yeah, nice day out. You know, we do so well in Brampton. I, I'm expecting big things. I love the summer. You know what? We should plan our wedding in the summer. We got engaged six months ago. Will you marry me? No! <laughs> Still haven't set a date. It only takes a day to get married. Is that after the 20 other things that we have to do? Well, Sin. I'd stop talking about it if you'd just set a date already. My store has been open for the last five, six months now, and it's been doing really well. But I've become really conscientious of the money that I spend on lockers, so it definitely has to come at the right price in order for me to be successful today. Woo! I'm looking for quality and volume today, and that's why I brought the muscle. Financial and physical. Right, boys? That's right, boss. I got me the two biggest security guards money can buy, man. Hey, where did you find the mall cops? <laughs> mall cops? These yeah. are professional security, man. Do they have a thought between them? There's one. There's two. <laughs> oh. Those are really big thoughts. Hey, Bogey. Bogey, come on. You can't. Okay, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the auction here this morning. Terms of the auction are cash, so that means the person with the most cash in their pocket can win. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. So all I need you guys today is just to keep the riffraff away, all right? I don't want to hear them. I don't want to talk to them. I'm just here to do my job. We get that all done, we'll do well. Move! Uh, Pardon me, ma'am. Excuse me. Thank Move. you, thank you. Move! Uh, I'm pretty sure that's against the rules. Uh, Don, can I get a ruling on this? This should be interesting. Hey! This locker is packed nicely, lots of bins, plastics. Definitely an interesting locker. So this is a household unit. You have a little bit of everything. The only unfortunate part is they pack their food. This is not a good indication of the person who owned this. They're saving their food. You just throw it. All right. Okay. I see new you. I see good things in here. I see good things in here myself. Let me see. <sighs> Nothing that I need your help with. What part of we're not on the same team do you not understand? The not part. How much here? Three, three hundred dollars, three and a half, but four, four hundred, four and a half, but five and a half, now six. Six hundred dollars and a half, and a half, and a half, six and a half, now seven, and a seven, and a half. Seven and a half and a half, seven and a bit, seven and a half and a half and a half, seven and a quarter anywhere, seven and a bit, seven and a quarter. Do you think they're gonna get this one? No, boss. That's right. Yeah. And seven and a half. And now seven seventy-five. Yeah. And now eight hundred dollars. Jerk. One thousand, ten and a quarter. Yeah. Ten and a half. Ten and a half and a half, ten no. and a quarter, but an hour. 
Salt. 1,050 oh, to a quarter. At least you been a mile. Yeah, that's right. Curly, can you lock that up for me, buddy? All right. Nice. OK, boys, I can't wait to show you guys what's in this thing. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. This is going to be cool. <laughs> Calm down. It's mine. Lift me up. Let me see what's in this thing. Oh, this thing is full. We're going to be busy. Box of miscellaneous household items, 40 bucks. Something I can use of value. And you know why this is valuable? Why? Because I'm going to use this. If we could find a drink in there, that would be perfect. Oh, what do you got there? Power washer? Worth 30 bucks. Nah, nah, it's nothing. Oops. Nada. What's in here? More bedding. Useless pile. Same old shit. I'm gonna take a quick look, boys. Some more towels. No, nothing, nothing. Some glass. Worthless. There's gotta be something in this locker. Hey, what's that shiny thing right by your feet? <clears throat> sewing machine? Sewing machine? How do you figure that's a sewing machine? It's How one did... of those resistance, those things that go around your stomach for, for fat loss. I think you're actually right, man. I thought you were the stupid one. No, boss. That's me. I feel my bow slider already. Who needs an outlet when you got meatheads? <laughs> I'm definitely going to get this thing checked out, because this is the only interesting thing in this whole locker. Come on, don't drop me. Your pay relies on this. Actually, <laughs> this thing works pretty good. Does it have a motor for swinging? Pass me my drink. We're still getting paid. Yeah, I'm still gonna pay you guys. <laughs> I'd be pretty stupid if I didn't. <laughs> True. Whoa! Oh, look at here. Oh, this is a really the, uh, good locker, boys. A Give good chop back. Out of the way, Mr. Boys. Roy's coming through. Oh, you know what? You're very locker. rude. Can you step back, this please? This is an amazing. Can locker. you step back, please? Step back! Tiny, move, big mouth, please. Oh my God! Just pick her up and take her uh, out. Hello. Lift her up. Hey! Oh, my God! He really is quite strong. A couple of lawnmowers, some nice containers. The whole house is in here. Oh, my God! They're gone. We can go in now. OK, oh, I'm still not with you, OK? There's a lot of quantity here. It looks like a lot of plastic and cheap stuff, and there's a lot of boxes, and you never really know with mystery boxes. I think this one's out of my price range. Life jacket, maybe there's a boat motor, uh, personal stuff, and lots of clothes. The front looks great. I got the feeling the back is good, too. These here lawnmowers are pretty good. Yeah. I think we're going to take a run at this one. OK, folks, here we go. What do you got here? 500. 300. 300. 400. 400. Five. Put it on five here. And 600. Seven. Eight. It's not worth that. Eight. Put it on nine. Put it on nine. Nine, nine, nine. Put it on nine, ten. Yeah. Ten, ten. Put it on 11. 11, 11, 11. A bit $1,200. 12. $1,200 here. 11 and a half. 11 a bit, 11 and a half. Yeah! 11 and a half, 1,200. 12, 13, 1,300. Get a 13, 14, 15, 15. No. Sold! Yeah. $1,400. Yeah. Rich yeah. Rice, 1,400. Yeah. Oh! OK, boys, I don't want to get my sneakers wet. You tear me over the wire, right? Earn your money. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, it's not much mystery here. It looks like a, a suit store that just went out of business. I'm not really interested. I just see bags of suits, man. It's men's clothing, and I don't deal with men's clothing. Lots of old men stuff. See, I could tell. There's nothing high end in here. It's good for Paul. It's better than half the stuff he wears. <laughs> just suits me fine. I think I want this. OK, how much here? 20, but now 30, 30, now 50, 50, now 75, and 100. And 100, one and a quarter. Yeah. We're not even on the same team, and he's still embarrassing. Oh, uh, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and a half. Oh, one and a half, 175. Yeah. Three. What's he doing? He's throwing his money away. Two and a half, one more time. Two and a half, 275. Now, you know I'm busy. That's a yes. Now three. Way to go, three, get a three, three. Sold. All 275. Right. Paul buys 275.
Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I'm not with him on this. I'm gonna give you some advice. What's that? This is the big leagues here. If you're not oh. with your daddy anymore, oh, okay. you're just a minor league player now, you don't have the money to compete, you should just lead now. Ha! Joke's on you, Roy. Have a look in here. Oh, oh, yeah. Look at there, look at there. Lots and lots of stuff in there. Some nice welding tanks down there, some nice antique furniture, some plastic bins. This is why I'm here, man. How about these weights here? Oh, yeah. That's a good starter set. I had one like that when I was five. Starter set? What's that red That's thing it. back there? That looks like somebody's dog bed or something. Oh. Rick and I had a bad experience with the dog bed once. There's some bins here. Who knows what's in the bins? So that's the mystery there. If it goes at a good price, it's, it's worth a shot. TV screens at the back. And some skis. Some uh, decent furniture. This is something I can take a bite at for sure. This is going to go for more than I have. Damn. I was really hoping to have to resort to this. If I need a little bit of help on the financial side, he wants to borrow money. Surprise, surprise. Now we're family. $500, we're gonna buy, but to go buy, to buy, to buy. Who's got $200? 200, two and a half, two and a quarter, now a half. Two and a half, and I have, and I have, to go half and a half, yes or no, two and a half, and 275. And 275 and 300 dollars, three and three and a quarter, now a half. Three and a half and 375, and I four and four and a quarter. Since when does Bogart have money? Five and a half and I have to go half. Five seventy five. Five seventy five. Five seventy five. Now six hundred dollars. Six hundred to be a half half. Six seventy five. Six seventy five. Six seventy five. Sold. Bogey yes. by six hundred. Now that's my boy. Go for it. Okay, folks, that's the last locker of the day there, so we need all those successful buyers in the office to pay their accounts, and then, of course, get your stuff out of here. I didn't buy today, and I'm a little bit disappointed. I really needed merchandise for the store, but it's okay. Ultimately, I'm still going home with my money in my pocket, and uh, that locker will come up. That was a waste of time. 1400 bucks, eh? Yeah, let's see if we get our money back. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Oh, look at this. Here we got some coins. Okay, there's 50 bucks in coins right here. Yep, that's gold, all right. Probably about $300 in gold there. All right, look at that. We got his and hers. There's 200 bucks right there. These are beautiful rims. Yeah. You know, we could probably get $150 a pop. All right. There's $600 right there. A heavy bag, eh? <laughs> kind of reminds me of Roy's boys. There's 75 bucks. Except for all the Christmas bulbs I just smashed. Okay, just don't worry. You did it. Let's see what we got in here. It says a 79 piece dinnerware set. Looks like a pretty good one. That's actually really nice. That's a $200 uh, dinner set. All right, there you go. Ah! $100. Yeah, take it away. Whoa, what do what? we got Whoa. here? Whoa, oi. Some kind of paddle to spank somebody's butt. As much fun as that sounds, I think it's a cricket bat. It looks like a really old cricket bat. Yeah, I think and we need I to get it checked out. I think you're right. No, we're not officially a team, but I can guilt Bogart into helping me empty my locker. It's true, we're Catholic. So you don't want a piece of this? I do not. All right. Oh, it's worth it right here. Look at this. I knew you would have bought this locker for one shirt. Oh, oh, those are funky. You can have those. I don't mind if you want those. Stop trying to sell me your clothes. OK, $10. Uh, these are all crap. They're all in bags. They're not even the right names and stuff. Oh, shit. Well, that's, that's a suit you'd wear? That's a designer suit that I would wear. This is this is actually looking a little bit better. Hold on, hold on. You're kicking over nice suits. Oh, now you're concerned. Bogey. More suits. Oh my. Goodness. And more. And more suits. This is turning out a little better than I expected. In suits alone, this here is probably going to be a $1,500 locker. 
It would really suck if Dad's locker turns out better than mine. Uh, ah. What the hell is this thing? I hate stuff that has to be assembled. I have no idea what that is for. You know what? I might get big as uh, Roy's bodyguards if I keep this up. Yeah, and as smart as that filing cabinet. Put it down, help with this. We got two of these chairs, $5 a chair, 10 bucks. One for each of us. Holy Aren't you glad shit, I'm here? Heavy. You can have done this by yourself. Two very heavy green couches. 50 bucks. $50. We're still a long way from 650. How are you gonna pay me back if you only make this much money? Are you breaking stuff? Just checking. I'll get out of the way. What? what? Dad, come check this out. This looks ridiculous. Ugh. This is a precision instrument of some sort. Oh, he found something here. I don't know what it is, but I'm betting that this is worth money. We just gotta get it checked out. I'm really glad you, uh... Loan me the money for this locker. Looks like me and Bogey are back in business. Ooh. That was close. So I really hope this cranking gear is worth something. Maybe we'll get enough to pay for a nice uh, vacation or honeymoon. I love being engaged. It's the married part that freaks me out. If we get it over and done with soon, then we won't have to think about it again. Oh, Rick. I'm going to meet some guys who play for Canada's national cricket team. We have some gear for you. What do you think it's worth? Say the pads, for instance. This is basically used for school kids. So it's more or less for someone learning the sport. Agreed. $25? Well, that's a buck it's up worth anyway. something. Uh, this is very interesting. It's a very historic piece from the Waller Warsaw family. Warsaw family was very well known for cricketing bat makers. It's an old bat. I would say it's from the 1970s. It really does have some historic value to it. So oh. this as an antique vintage piece, how much is that? I would say $250. Yeah, that's not I'll so take bad. It. You want to go have a crack at it? You got the equipment. All right, what do you think? Why not? Let's do it. Let's go. I'm ready. Master University. This is the only place I could find that even knew what this thing was. Apparently, it's some kind of electron microscope. What's your gut feeling? I have a feeling that you're gonna make stupid jokes the entire time. The kid's good. I'm not gonna make any stupid jokes. They'll be all intelligent jokes because we're at university. <laughs> Doctor, where the heck are we? We're in the Canadian Center for Electron Microscopy. I just had one of those last week. <laughs> Couldn't sit down for a couple days, but. I think you're thinking of endoscopy. what I tell you? So what the heck is this thing? Well, this is a scanning electron microscope. What you've got here, that's the same set of pieces that go into oh. this chamber. What's this thing? Piece of junk. So it has no relation to this? Absolutely no relation whatsoever. So let me show you what this thing does. We're gonna take a look at a fly. We're gonna look at a fly? fly. We've got some flies ready. You got a fly supply? <laughs> We do have a fly supply because you know what? It's a really cool thing to look at. I think he's just doing this on the fly. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I like his jokes better than yours. <laughs> I've taught him everything he knows. There's our fly. Whoa. Wow. Look at that. Oh. There's a hair, and if we look even closer, we've actually got some little tiny hairs. How much is this puppy? Can I call it a puppy? How much is this puppy, puppy worth? This puppy's worth about a million dollars. A million? A million. <gasps> Million dollars. Million dollars. And ours? Easily gonna be a quarter million, right? Well, you have a very interesting piece here. What you've got here is one of the major components of the microscope. That's good. When we buy one of these pieces of equipment, it all comes together. This is missing the rest of the microscope. So I would say that nobody is really interested in buying this. Oh. You are lucky, though. Oh, okay. There's some nice parts in here. Bottom line, if you sell the really nice gearing, you sell the motor drives, looking at about 
$2,000. All right. I'll take that. All right. I like you again. Man, I'm facing a major loss on this locker. The only thing that's giving me a chance to save my money is this retro exercise machine. I'm on my way to see the fitness icons, Hal Johnson and Joanne McLeod. You know who I'm talking about. It's Body Break. We've got cycling, golf, blading, soccer, water skiing, basketball, canoeing, badminton, football, mountain climbing, walking, running, baseball, and windsurfing. Body Break! Body Break! Keep it and have fun. Body Break. Hey, you two. Hey, Roy. Hey, Roy. What do you have there? This is the old fat boy I was telling you about. Well, it's actually a vibrating belt machine, or a fat shaker. The heyday was in the 50s and 60s, and that's when this machine was built. Can we plug it in somewhere and see if it works? Yep, let's, uh, let's plug it in. It works? It works. <laughs> I feel the pounds just shaking right off. Oh, yeah, I... right. <laughs> so these machines, were they really popular back in the day? Oh, very popular. It was targeted for women. They wanted to lose weight on their, their butt and their thighs. Women bought into it. So what kind of benefits would I get from a machine like this? Well, potential brain damage. Brain damage? We're not already there yet. Thanks for not mentioning that before I got on the machine. You want to try? I want to try it. <laughs> I'm not responsible. Whoa. How do you like it? Actually, it's pretty relaxing. You know, you really got to think twice before you look at a machine that says it's going to do the work for you. So if it's going to do the work for you, you're not going to get results. One more thing I can strike off okay, my bucket list. OK, you're having a little too much fun. <laughs> That's right. So what do you guys think this thing is worth? I think it's worth at the very, very top end $200. $200? And you'd be lucky to get that. You might find a collector, you know, that wants it for their health club. And exactly. you don't want to make the claims that it's actually going to reduce fat or get rid of cellulite or do anything like that, because this doesn't do any of those things. You're just a bundle of good news. Do you think I can get a free workout while I'm here, at least? Well, let's do it. Come on, be a body breaker. You got to dig deep. Keep what it going. Keep Being it. fit and having fun. Come on, Heather. Right. 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 Keep going, keep going. <laughs> Roy, you're a true body breaker. Until next, next time, time, keep fit, fit and have fun. Oh, you broke my body, you bastard. All it took to get Paul and Bogart back together was a little bit of science and a ridiculous amount of suits. Cindy and Rick didn't score a home run, but they didn't strike out either, since neither of those things have anything to do with cricket. Most people know there are no shortcuts to success in business or in fitness. Roy isn't most people. <laughs> and Ursula managed to control her spending, but she still got carried away. Oh, my God! And now it's time for Body Break with Curly, Tiny, and Roy. Here's the beauty of exercise. If you've got enough money, you can pay someone else to do it for you. Let's do some squats. Squats are uh. one of my favorite exercises. Really gets in the legs. Down. <laughs> Down. Come on, man. Come on. Work it, man. Pick it up. Pick it up. Let's do it. Ah. <laughs>